Yes, yes. Nah, one, one. I thought you had some call up here. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey, you don't wanna talk about him. Now you don't wanna talk. Now you don't wanna talk. Now Certain wanna things talk. we keep off air. Oh, okay, yeah. You wanna tell yeah. him something else? Yeah. You wanna tell him yeah. anything else? You know, soul food is good for your soul. Yeah, you don't wanna talk about tea. Mm mm mm. Everything needs to be telephone. Because it's live. It's going to feed that. Right now, it's just a commercial. That's because you're talking too much. That's all right. Hello. There you go. There you go. There you go, Kaza. There you go. You ready to get the introduction, D? We ain't ready yet. It's a commercial for That's what the introduction You know, hit the note. Yeah, they ain't doing all that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they got you. So that's why you did not get that out of Walmart. Oh, shit. Shot. Try to get it. What? Ah, it's a tech man. He did not get that from Walmart. Tech man, tech man. Yeah, that's him. He didn't get that out of Walmart. That's a good shit. Let me hold that. Yeah, sister, what's going on, Trace? When we leave, when I leave, you know who got it. We rectate. Are we ready? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, welcome back to the business show. I'm your host, Deanna Lachey. We have Cousin Nadim in the building, sitting side seat as always. We got Uncle Tali, and we got Cousin Shakur sitting in with us today. What's going on, What's going on, on Shakur? <laughs> good people, good people. Listen, let's get this disclaimer out of the way. Cause Start she, from the she, door. she already go. went in on it. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2019, from the seniors down to the juniors moving up to high school. My oh, daughter did her thing today. She going to the ninth grade. Morgan Tally, I love you, and I'm proud of you. Congratulations, kids. Go ahead, say what you gonna say, D. Fuck them kids. Little <laughs> 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 <No> bastards, <laughs> sons of bitches, little no badass heathens. Got you couple of motherfuckers on your bus. You ain't gonna talk about congratulations. He be like, sit your bad ass down. Not my child. You got good kids, right? You got all the good. You got all the good. Yeah, you have good. At least when I'm around. Yeah, uh, well, exactly. I, I, I think that's all, all our kids. kids. Look, I done caught that action. I done caught that action before. I be like, I can't even got friends. Just a little ass cousin. Cause she is a little bitch. You ever walk up on your kid cousin? Shit. Well, they don't do that around you. I know they don't do that part around you though. I know they don't do that. That's not around me, but. I said you ever walked up the corner. If I come around the corner, I might be like, little bitch, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. 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 You know how to put them words together. You ever seen white kids, Kurt? I mean, damn it, fucking shit, you. Tom, let me ask you something. So, what would you have done if that ever happened? To my child? Yeah. If I walked up on her? Yeah. I'd have gave her that look. You know I'm going to fuck you up when you get home, right? Okay. And that's all it needs, because she's going to be. Because, like, my kids. I'm always, I'm not going to say I'm the bad guy, but I'm the disciplinary. Like, I don't even have to hit my kids or nothing, because I got all girls. And I, if I tell my kids I'm disappointed in them, it really breaks their heart. Yeah, yeah, They be yeah. like, dad, be trying to do extra stuff. Let me tell you my philosophy like, yeah. on parenting. I raised my kids like I was raised. If it wasn't too good for me, it ain't too good for Old school. You. So you can't say no, I'm, Old huh. school. You got to say yes. Yes, no sir. man, no man, no man. The same way we had to. Tell my kids every time they come out. Oh, how you doing? Like, my man be like, just call me Tony. No, put a handle on it. Yeah, I ain't gonna. Uncle, Uncle Tony, Mr. Tony. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. believe ass whoopings build character. For sure. You gotta beat your kids every now and again just to let them know. Like, you ain't gotta beat them often, but you gotta beat them once every six years. Like, they just tell beat them once a I got my eyes whooped enough. I can still understand. You know the funny part about me? Now or they beat you later. I never got a beating. I got beat But my mom was so little and mean. I got beatings. And she used to whoop my sister ass so much. I wouldn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was the kid that did all my dirt away from the house. I wouldn't do shit around my mom because I was like, did a lot. Yeah, but you did a lot. Oh, yeah, I did a lot, but I never got caught doing my shit. See, I was smart about my shit. Let's talk to this young fellow here about his generation. She was bad. Y'all generation. You ain't never had a beating before, have I got my ass whooped. And he still gets his butt. I got my ass whooped. Who beat you? You better beat these damn kids. See, my mom is from old school, so my mom is 57 years old. Mm. So I'm not really a part of this generation, but I am. Right, right, so, right. 
But you got yeah. still one of the moms. Yeah, and, and, and all my aunts all up in that age, so I got I got booked. Oh, but see, y'all get, yeah. get whooped different. Y'all get whooped different, though. Yeah, y'all got whooped. We came from the age no, no, where your no, mama no, would no, beat no. you. No, 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 no. no. He didn't get what type of whooped no. different? No, he get whooped different. I whooped like how you Listen, said you got. He get whooped different. Dude, Cause we come from the age where your parents would hit you with anything. <laughs> My first time, so, like the ashtray, flip flop. But he does have a flip flop. Anything in sight. Y'all remember them old wooden spoons they used to be on the wall? Oh yeah. I think y'all got your ass in the pork in the spoon. Yeah. Guess what? It never worked. My hot will whoop you with anything. Listen, no, the woofle bag. Remember the yeah, switch? The Y'all remember the oh, switch? Yeah. Go, 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 go in the backyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had that real swing. So Whoop your know ass with that talking. switch. Yes. Yes. That's why I hated hot wheels. Yeah. I hate I hate them hot wheel tracks. Yeah, yeah, the wheel yeah, 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 no, no. The no. first way to get your ass whooped is straight out the tub. Look, look, look. Yeah, I got beat out the tub. Got a fresh ass whooping out the tub. I got something yeah. versus in there. What's that? When you had to go get your own switch. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. But the difference about going to get your own switch, how could you go get something to whoop your own switch? Yeah. And you better not get a bad switch. <laughs> don't get, your ass don't get a switch. <laughs> but you go back <laughs> like, up, yeah, about two times, you might go back for that. You better not bring a bad yeah, switch yeah. in here. We'll but uh, listen to this. Uh, this. This is a question I have. Uh, I talked to my sister today, well, this week. And, uh, always got these fucking stories. <laughs> no, seriously. No, no. Tally stories. No, Tally stories no, is unusual. I know. I like I'm this story. I'm talking about a business <laughs> venture. All right, I'm talking about a business uh, Here we go. Okay, well, we like business. I mean, we like business. The business I show. Mean, the I mean, bingo. anyone <laughs> out there who feels as though they're good at double dutch, yeah, yeah. C-Town. No, no, seriously. C- 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 we, 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 we allow C- you to go C- sometimes. Listen, listen what I'm saying. Sometimes you don't left. be going. No, he go I'm left. talking about a workshop. I'm talking about a workshop. I need somebody who can really do double dutch and, and interested in These fucking life. kids don't double dutch now, man. These fucking kids stay in the house and play video games. Well, I'm enough for double dutch. 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 Like hip hop do hula hoop. Give him a chance. He's gonna start a double Dutch uh, league. Yeah. 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 I'm talking real shit though. Yeah. They got money. Listen, they have money out there. Try yeah. out at the bus stop yeah. on Lee <laughs> Avenue. That's where Tally working. Let's <laughs> <Boy, laughs> y'all on Lee Avenue. It's tryouts. <laughs> this nigga said he goes. Listen, these <laughs> kids. We gonna start listen, a double listen. Dutch league. Don't, don't How many kids do simple. you see riding a bike now and day? These kids don't come outside. Why all the kids fat as shit? They obese. They don't oh, come outside. Your mom would kick you. But hear me out. Give them a chance. chance. Give them a chance because there's not much opportunity and stuff for them it's to do. So we introduce these different things. Give them a chance. We we chance. Don't shut the man down. Yeah. Don't shut the man down. Side. Double dust dump. Come on now. Yeah. I can enough. hire them to do something else. Home health care or something. Yeah. Double dust dump. Double dust dump. We talking about some of these. Listen. I went to my daughter graduation today and I was so... This thing by the people that I saw, they fat asses and <laughs> squeezing in the shit and the, 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 the bingo arms and shit, the bingo wings. Listen, baby. Squeezing in the jeans. Hold on, hold on. Feet let look me, like they marshmallows. Hold on, Tally. Let me, let me. We have an epidemic of Listen. obesity. We got to. We gotta do. do and that's what I'm trying to tell you. These kids. They play video games. They talking. don't come outside. We gotta you don't see out. kids riding bikes no more. You don't see kids playing double dutch. Catch a girl, get a girl. Squeeze the limit. My shit was doorbell Dixie when I was a kid. Red, light, green. Like when they, my listen, shit. let me tell you like something. You said, That's why I say girl. parents ain't parents like Red, they like used green. to be. Because back in the day, you couldn't stay in the house and run up your fucking parents' electric. Oh, your parents, your parents would kick you the fuck out the house. Outside. Like, go the fuck outside and play. All day. You couldn't sit in your parents' house and play no video games when they electric. All day, oh, so and they working. Here. Go yeah. outside, ride this but bike, we ride outside. the skateboard. Oh, that's we we had to make us come in. Every day. I got Listen, a question. I got a question. It's a poppy story at the corner. I got, I got a question. How many? But kids is it the kids' fault though? 
Is it no, the kids' fault? Nobody. No, we're not we, saying it's the kids' we, fault. We ain't talking about faults. We're not yeah. talking about faults. We talking about What we're talking yeah, about so is... Yeah, so that's why you introduced them to different things. Listen, while we talk yeah. about that's, this that's where it all come back to. try to get some kids to do double dutch that ain't coming outside. You got to come outside. It won't be double dutch. It won't have to be double dutch. All right, check this out. Can we do this? All right, come up with the next adventure. All right, tell us I would like to bring I would like to bring financial literature to the community. Second, to find unique ways to bring it to the youth. Second venture. What's your second venture? We're going to do something called Movement Philadelphia. Oh, what's that? It's either some type of athletic for kids and their parents. You know, parents, you, they drag it around, slip with Now, that might they work. Got, they yeah, have those. Got they got them lot store dresses on. They got them listen, slip, listen, the slip the slides, the bingo wings. Don't be talking about people like store dressers. That's what I'm just saying. Oh, they get a full we want to do something called Movement Philadelphia. Either it's you do nothing but come outside your house, you walk around the block two or three times. Hey, right, well, listen. You doing like my sister? She While we doing them, this, I was about to say that. Health. Let's give a shout out to Tab because Tab be doing the hula out. That's my girl, hip hop. That's Tali's sister. You know, shout I got my out, special name out. for her. And she got this little hulu thing she be doing and she get a shit at it. I ain't gonna lie. Like she got that little We ain't gonna we ain't gonna we gonna call it the I little hulu hoop thing. I we talked about the I mean, little oh, thing last not, week. Not yeah, little hulu. You know she, she she good with what she doing. We not we not trying to doubt. Go on Instagram doing. and she got a good little help. situation going. Give and, her give out her time, um give out her Instagram joint. I don't even know. It's hula hoop hula hoop something. I know this hula. Tab, if you watching this, come on here and tell us what your hula hoop thing is. It's not no little situation. Sister, She's doing a good I'm, thing. I apologize. And like I said, I she, she got her but... switch switch going on. <laughs> I keep meaning to go down there, but my fat ass. Every Saturday, she spinning. does a hula hoop for health right there on 27. My fat ass going to need a queen size and hula hoop. <laughs> Arizona. They make them in grown people's houses. <laughs> if you think that you can handle the challenge and... Yeah, it doesn't affect tab, you but. come out and if she does not wear you out and you does not sweat, I will give yeah. you a hundred dollars. I see I see everybody who she come got, out and can take this down. challenge. If you come out to this hula hoop class and do not sweat or your body do not Listen, feel dry, this go out on support. I will give you a hundred dollars. Like I said, this is what this show body. is about. Supporting our own. You our know what I'm saying? Make, like we talk sure. a lot of stuff, but at the end of the day, we really down with supporting our own because we can't make it in small businesses By and stuff self. like that if we don't support us. By As black self. people, we spend the most money with. in the United States. Don't think we don't. Don't let them yes, tell you we don't. Yes. So Billions if we would just take our money, money and, and support small businesses and black owned businesses, we would make What's it a lot further. So like I said, go see my girl and you know, make sure you Go see her and support that business. Like you said, she's a good instructor, and she really got her hula hoop situation going on. That thing is crazy. I ain't even hold you. I did it. It's not. I did it for four It's not easy minutes. to do the hula hoop. You think it is? She got. Not. She got. Uh, you got to have that switch, switch going. Weights from <laughs> two, two, two pounds up to seven pounds. She was doing hula hoop. She been doing hula hoop for a while. Yeah. 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 You know, I've been doing some more. I know, but when you can break it down, when you can break it down like that, you've been doing it for a while. Okay. You gotta get your swish swish on. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna try to find. I'm, I'm uh, on our break. I'm gonna get yeah, all gonna the information. Yeah, we gonna make sure we get that information. And then you can go on Facebook or you can go on Instagram and link up and find out. And the challenge stand for anybody that show up at any time. Well, just tell, challenge Tally to the challenge since he talking shit. I'll so do it. I'll go on here and challenge see if he want to challenge y'all to a hula hoop match. Y'all set that up. Go on there since he always yeah, put his mouth yeah, so yeah. Challenge him to the hula hoop swish yeah. swish and we'll tape it and we'll let y'all see that. Exactly. So I'll put it up on my page. So somebody... Just do not call the business show for your money. Yeah. If you win or lose, yeah. please well, my money good, contact man. us. We is not honoring this bet. That's all. I'll let Tali. Brother Tali, DM him. Give him up on the back page. Child. What you say? Uber <laughs> Eats Eats. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, on there, oh, hit him up God. for your money because we ain't got the name down for you. Tune in, global tune. Yes, yeah. yes. So listen, um, well, what you guys say now? Let's, let's think about this. This is his favorite line. We're, we're, listen, we're really getting it's starting to get hot outside, right? Right. So how do we feel about? I'm not even touch that subject. Well, you let me, are, no, no. Sure. Let me hit on the subject. Let's get it over with now. Hold on, let me hit on the subject before the night's out. You want to go there for y'all real quick? Cause there's some shit that be eating at me. I ain't gonna really put people out there, but let me ask y'all a question. When people have children, like that play sports, NBA, and if I mean basketball, football, whatever, 
I can't stand a person who aspirations be stuck on their children. Like, we got some people out there who really like dependent on the people who made it. Like, you got a family member who go out and he make it. I don't care what it is. He in the NFL, he in the NBA, he in the, the, the chicken bowl league. You know what I'm saying? And now everybody in the, in the family got a problem. Do you think it's fair for everybody in the family to be able to call to one person that they feel like got some money and keep acting like it's his job to support everybody in the family? Well, 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 well absolutely it, uh, not. Let me answer that. Let me, let me answer that. Go ahead, it also depends on how uh, they was raised. If they was raised like their family person and they know nothing but their family, yeah, they'd be willing to do something like that. No, willing, but not obligated. Oh, no, be not saying obligated. willing. What we saying is, it is it their responsibility? Not at all. Like, if not at all. You win the lottery right now, right? Is it your responsibility for everybody in your family to be able to call you and ask you for money? No, it ain't. Oh, even, it it ain't, ain't my responsibility. No. They're gonna call, but you have to understand is how much do I really mess with you? And that's yeah. how long that goes. Yeah, but, and, but, you know, but, more, but I know, but more she ain't even really talking about friends. She talking about, no, she like, about family. 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 Sister, brother, You know, because like, when yeah, people get money, everybody in the family calls. Yeah. Oh, no, I got you. I got you. Like, call cousin Benny. No, I said you kidding. He's supposed to give us $42. So you would know that. What did y'all do for they got there? Whatever y'all did. Yeah, you look out for look out for you. Like, I'm not saying that you're not supposed to look out for your people. But you can't look out for everybody. I don't know. I'm just a family. Family or person. I yeah, you look out for yeah. I love you my family. Me, I don't give a damn. Well, I win. But they at what extent do you look out for yourself opposed to looking out for everybody else? Because you're going broke looking out for everybody else. I ain't talking about everybody else. I'm talking about my family. Look at MC Hammer. MC Hammer was broke. But you're talking about you love your family and you love your family. But listen. But that's because my family loves me. No, that love comes different when money comes in. I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, you got people you never it, it, you it ain't the right love. I can say different strokes for different folks. Right. Yeah, because that's a different family. love then. If, if, like if, I know my family. If, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Who does Superman go to when he get burned? No, listen, but, but, but listen what I'm saying to you. Superman listen time. what I'm saying to you, guys. I'm talking about the listen, family. No, okay. but I don't know about Superman. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about your mom. And your sister. No, but I'm talking about your dad calling you. We're not talking about them type of people. We talking about your cousin Willie, who ain't never called you in a fucking well, day in his life. Like, no, he call you. Yeah, and but say, that's he need forty dollars. That's, that's, that's something he different. He's about to get put out of his house. And your aunt fucking Susie, who uh, you know she was your aunt all your life, but she ain't never came to none yeah, of your no, birthday she parties. She ain't never came to <laughs> yep. none of the Christmas parties. She ain't never showed off for shit. But as soon as you get some money, she calling you. You got your fucking cousin. You I got, got you. I got you. I got you. The rapper. I got you. He ain't got no money. He needs some money to get a studio together. Like, is it your Job that that's negative. That's negative. No, 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 no. Like, because when you get money, people will listen. My fuckers will find yeah, you. Yeah, they're going to come all way. People who've never called you a day in your life will find your number and call you and ask you for some money. But and, see, that's what you have to do. And people really be like, no, that's fucked up. Because if I was rich, really I'd be well, taking well, care well, of my well, money. Well, well, the ba- the basic, just to cut it short, the people that I would do it for is the people that has my same best interests as well as I have my own. Then put it that way. And nobody else. Right, but, but let me tell you something. How do you know who I First of all, can't Tally. nobody count nobody else's money. Tally, you so can no matter what money you got in your pocket, well, can't why do you know speak for myself? Let me speak for myself. Count your money. I can tell by the people that I'm around. So when people call you and say, interest, okay, Tessas okay. has been involved. Well, let me ask you something. Phil, you got it ain't because right? I'm just wondering or assuming. Tessas was involved. Say you listen, listen what I'm saying to you. Say you in the lottery, right? Life, baby. You took the annuity. You, you, you didn't take the annuity. You took the monthly payment, so the yearly payments, right? So at this point, you went, got you a house, went, got you a nice car, got you a little situation. You pay your bills and everything in your house, right? Okay. So you living really from check to check because you got your bills set out to where so how you know how you got your money and it's, you pay your bills accordingly. So now here I come, cousin D. I could be your homie, your motherfucker, your tightest cousin, your motherfucker I hang with every day. But now I'll call you and say, hey, cousin, I'm about to get put out my house. I need $2,000 to pay my rent. And all you got is your rent money. You going to pay my rent or you going to pay your rent? Come on. And all I see, you already know I like it. Shit, we both going to go talk to our landlord. He go have for him. I ain't going to have for half of me. Okay, right, okay, right, 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 okay. But I'm then, not the other right, right. person, listen, so, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. But then when he call you, after you just split your rent money with me, and he got an issue, well, what you got for him? I don't have nothing but time, yeah. but I'm going to give you some good words, though. 
But see, that's what I'm saying. See, when people start, no, but listen, but that's what I'm saying. When people start begging for money, they never know what your situation is. You might have already been bringing your rent down half with somebody. So how is it your obligation to be able to take on my issue, which you took on willingly, and then take on his issue, but, and then take on cousin issue over there? It's not no, you 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 look out where you can look out for. We look out for you. Look out for you. Don't know nobody. No explanation after that. If I don't have it, I don't have it because I can't give what I don't have. That's not a perfect world. Right. Okay. Now listen. But let me ask you something, cousin. That's the reality of it. Right. It is the reality. But let me say. Getting all excited. We have a technical he, he difficulty. He done fucked up. He done fucked up. He done fucked up. He done fucked up. You know, like, we all know you can only do what you can do. But what I'm saying is from other people's aspect, like I said, if he called you first and you helped him, and then I call you and you just can't help me, people don't understand that. Oh, that's say, not my that away I know it's not your problem, but what I'm saying is as the family, you know, in the family, you ain't that, Oh, I call him $20, he ain't have to give, but he paid cousin rent. Or, oh, he, he, he hit the lottery, he should have it. But so who fault is that? No, what we're saying is that you no, no, can't saying. count nobody's pockets at the end of the day. So as family members, I just like to tell people to stop. Like, listen, however you got your bill set up is how you got your bill set up. Nobody put you in that position but you. If you got $1,000 worth of bills and you make $1,000 a month, then you need to get a second job so that you can have some fall back on money. You can't keep depending on people to pay your bills and to handle your issues when they got problems of their own. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just bringing that up because it was an issue that I had dealt with this week. But I'm like, at the end of the day, people got to stand on their own feet. We all grown. You can't keep expecting people to handle your business. How did you handle your business when they got in their position? Well, keep doing that. Stop looking for somebody else to handle your business and then get mad at them because they yeah. can't pay your bills. Exactly. That's why we all work as grown people. And so we pay our own bills. I know my little cousin, basically what she telling you, fix yourself before you try calling her for help. That's all I'm saying. Make me your last yeah. person. I don't want to be your first resort. Make me your last fucking resort. Don't call me and ask for nothing like, hey, let me call her first. No, because I never signed up to be nobody's first resort or nobody's bailout person. So at the end of the day, call me when you ain't got nothing else better to do. Like, when you to call everybody you can call, and you like, well, let me try her and see. You know, shit is worth trying. But don't make me your first resort because I've never been in the business of bailing nobody out. I never said I was gonna bail nobody out, and I'm not. And I'm gonna tell y'all now. And I'm looking y'all y'all face. Where my game at? I'm, the, I'm, I'm not bailing nobody out. Really making your point. Your I point. want y'all to lose my number. When you need something, or you want something, if you're not calling me for a drink, a good time, a party, or we cheering, don't call me because I don't have it. And this is my whole thing with with this thing about. Helping situations, okay? I've lived a great life and I had ups and downs. Everybody and did. Most of the only time I hear from you is when you want something. But I can I can go on Facebook, I can go on uh, Instagram, I can go on with all other websites and you having a blast. You ain't called me, you ain't invite me to nothing. You didn't say Cuz, come get a drink, cuz, I got a hot dog. See, that's the cause, point. Let me watch People don't car, support the call. Nothing. They don't you go and check on you. Your don't best say, hey, life. What you doing? But then, <laughs> you once are, you fall on hard time, I'm the first person you call. No, you know what my thing is, is. Don't call me. Have Keep some butter for the duck, life. is all I'm saying is, is. I already know a setup when I see it, but at least if you make me feel good about it, I don't mind. Like, if you know you're going to need some money for me like, next week, start calling me this week. Hey, guys, how you doing? I'm just calling to check on you. Make sure you are. Right. So at least when you call me and ask me for something, I don't feel bad because I'm like, damn, at least they check on me. They care about my well-being. But don't make the first time you call me in the last yeah. 10 years to ask me for nothing. Hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Don't call, hey, guys, what you doing? Hey, um, I need $30. No, um, I ain't got it. I got bills too, and I'm probably paying more bills than you is. And if I ain't calling you to pay my bills, please don't call me. I'm not being mean. I'm not being ignorant or arrogant. I'm just telling y'all, <laughs> everybody got serious. to handle <laughs> their own shit. Let's just keep it for real. Like y'all motherfuckers is putting in family calls and conference calls. It's six of y'all on the call talking about Benny need thirty dollars because you need to go to the little weight loss program. Don't fucking call my phone. I'm just telling y'all. I'm just saying. Your best life off of my bill. You know, motherfuckers put a conference call. 
Well, Cousin Benny, he needs $32. In a serious situation. I listen. Fuck Cousin Benny, you hear me? Cousin Benny ain't been calling me. Tell him to lose my number like the fuck he been doing. So, hey. so, so, so. Okay. Listen, I'm just keeping it real. Y'all know let's, me. Let's, let's, let's tighten up our shot. Let's life. tighten up our shot. That's cousin laughing. Because he like, he know what the yeah. fuck I'm talking about. Fuck that. Don't call my motherfucking oh, phone. Hey, hey, lose my line. number. I got hip-hop on line. Hip-hop. Sister, uh, Tabitha, <laughs> give me your information for the who class so I can hey, put it out I'm there. Great job. I'm, I'm all at this stuff. Hey, cousin. We got we to gotta tighten up our shot. <laughs> let's, let's bring it back in. Hip hop, listen. Let me myself. hold on. Cause you know your brother ain't got no sense. Hey, hip hop, tell me what your um Instagram or your um your IG Facebook is so they can come do the hula hoop with you. You know we gonna shout you out. Tell our folks to come on in. Uh, what they call and, it? And take your hula hoop class. Your brother class, talking about he gonna set up a challenge. So he gonna set up a challenge up for the hula class. They don't work out hard. They don't break a sweat. I'll give them a hundred dollars. Cause I've been here. I did that. And make sure you get in contact with Tyler, exactly. not the exactly. business show. I'll give y'all my information Once online. Once again, I repeat, exactly. not the business I can't even tell you what the topic this is, for the double is we go from one place to the yeah, other. And your brother, so he, he start out with these stories, and you never know where they're going to end up at. So I, I can't really tell you what the topic is. Oh, your brother's crazy. No, my, my topic was uh, oh, who, 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 he said he need fifty two dollars from him. No, he want to borrow some money. Oh, he just borrow money. We ain't doing that. He said fifty two dollars. He get fifty two cent. Fifty two cent. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Tab, put your um, Instagram handle on there for me, boo, so we can um, shout you out and let the people know where you at. Your brother, piece of shit. <laughs> so I'm a big piece of shit. I'm the I'm I'm piece shit. of shit that stay together. Oh, Not the one that's Let me see what we got in the building. We got um, Shelly Hornsby in the building. We got Stan Anderson in the building. We got Moochie Mooch in the building. We got oh, Cousin Tiff. I got it. Everybody is watching. We got hip hop. She watching. Global Every, Tour Ready. Yeah. Everybody go got, to uh, the, the Hula business Hula show. We are in the lady building. on Instagram. Hula that Hoop is Lady on Instagram. Underscore Hula Hoop underscore Lady. And Go find out what the class is for this Saturday, and, and I'll meet y'all there, and I'm going to have at least Tally, tell $600. Tell and her. he going to be butt naked with a I Love Las Vegas her belt her on. And her phone, <laughs> and she can come on now and talk to her. She on the phone. She on there now. Huh? Well, she's she not telling her to go on Global Tools. She need to go so we can pull her up. Oh, okay. Tabby, you need to go to Global Tools. Dot com. Dot com. Global right. Tunes Radio. Radio. Dot com. com. Global Tunes Radio. Radio. Dot com. Go on your PlayStation Store. Download the app. Go into your Subscribe. Play Store, boo. Not your PlayStation Store. <laughs> Go into your Play Store. <laughs> Global <laughs> Radio. Global Tunes Radio. Dot com on your Play Store. Download, submit, sign in. And then we'll punch you in so you can talk to us because your crazy brother Live. don't know what he tell hey, me. Hey, listen, listen. Live. Live. <laughs> your brother is crazy. Now, this is what we're going to talk we about. Got? We're going to our second. We're Camilla our, Brown. We're going to our second. Cantina Brown. We got team on live. We got Kenny Lewis on live. Shout out to our people who watch and tune in faithfully to see our antics and shenanigans. You know, we try to talk about some good things, but it always go left. They oh, asked me what the topic, topic was, and I couldn't yeah, even yeah, tell them. Just, so, you yeah, know, that's right. we you don't never know what you're going to get with us. We, we always wind up with good topics. You never yeah. know what you're going to get with us. But, before we go into our next uh, segment, right. hold on, time out. Tell me how good my hair looks. <laughs> Look at the fines. This over nigga. Here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes Tally remind me the fines, guys. Well, like, he reminds me the bite like you know. He do me the fines. This guy bring it up, man. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You know all right. what? I, I, listen, you know, I just, listen, people, I'm sorry. I want to apologize to y'all in person for the shenanigans that go on. I say Global Tunes is not responsible for the opinions, the antics, or the BS that come out the people's mouth on this show. Look, this is GlobalTunesRadio.com. Uh, we're on our time. We're about to take a break. We'll be back in five. 
All right, good people. Baby Tim. Black Tiger Time. Don't go nowhere. Now y'all stay in. Don't go nowhere.